Hi, my name is Alexia Bell, and I will be informing you about Jane Edna Hunter. She was the executive director of Phyllis Whitley Association that provided employment, housing, and social development for African-American women. You will be learning things about where is she born, where did she go to school, what was her accomplishment, and more things about her life. Please watch the rest of this presentation, and thank you for watching. Jane Edna Hunter was born on December 13, 1882 in Pilton, South Carolina. Her parents were Harriet Milner, a freeborn slave, and Edward Harris, a son of a slave and a plantation overseer. When her father died in 1892, she was only 10 years old. Then she began working, ironing, serving, cooking, and washing for many families until 1897. Then at the age of 15, she started school at Ferguson Academy, which is now called Abbotson Agriculture College in Abbeville, South Carolina. She graduated from Ferguson Academy in 1900 with an eighth grade education. Jane then married a man named Edward Hunter, who was 40 years older than she was. 14 months after they were married, they divorced and she never remarried again. In 1903, Jane moved to Cleveland, Ohio at the age of 23. She graduated as a trained nurse in 1905 from Hampton University. She then attended Marshall Law School and received her LLB in 1925. She was an official in the National Association for Colored Women known as the NACW when she passed the Ohio State Bar Exam. In 1911, she established the Working Girls Association in Cleveland, Ohio, which later became the Phyllis Whitley Association of Cleveland. The PWA, Phyllis Whitley Association, was the first institution designed to meet the needs of African-American migrants. And by 1927, PWA became the single largest private African-American social service agency in Cleveland. Jane wrote an autobiography called A Nickel A Prayer and published it in 1940. In 1943, Jane established the Women's Civic League of Cleveland. The PWA scholarship was funded. The foundation established Jane Edna Hunter Scholarship Fund in her honor. Jane held honorary degrees from Frisk University, Allen University, and Central State University. In 1946, Jane finally retired from leading the PWA. Jane Etna Hunter died January 19, 1971 in Cleveland, Ohio.